Happy New Year. And we're back at the Marine Aquaculture Innovation Centre here on the east coast of Loch Fyne, off the ferry Seafish, and today is a sampling for a salmon feed study. A year ago you would have seen uh, some trials using RAS. Since then we've introduced salmon. So there are very few facilities uh, available in the UK uh, with controlled environment on land that enables rearing of Atlantic salmon up right from post hatchery up to near market size, such as being done here. So uh, Marine Aquaculture Innovation Centre is a collaborative venture between Otterferry Seafish and the Agri Epi Centre, jointly funded with Innovate UK. The client uh, who's on site today is Cook Aquaculture Scotland, who now manufacture their own feeds in Scotland for Scottish salmon. Make is undertaking this study as a service to the client. The client has designed the trial and they are validating one of their salmon on grower diets in the study here at Make. In the years since, uh, there have been continual uh, upgrades to the facility in terms of environment control. Each of the uh, tanks in the rearing systems now is fitted with uh, purpose-built lids with, uh, with integral lighting and automated feeders. I mean, this is the only facility that can really take salmon from smolt up to harvest weight in a trial situation in Scotland. It can mimic what's happening out on the salmon farm and give them data right through the cycle, which is, is really very valuable. Welfare of the livestock is paramount throughout, both uh, during the study and during the sampling process. In order to sample the fish, they're anaesthetised so that they're in a relaxed state. And then once they're anaesthetised, uh, they're weighed and then they have a length as well, which uh, gives you a condition factor. Also, the gills are swabbed to check that they're clean and healthy and blood is also taken up from a few fish too. The anaesthetic process really reduces all stress. The fish wakes up none the worse. We have the control on land. Uh, the water's filtered, UV'd, and the tanks are monitored for oxygen. All the tanks have feed collection, so we can collect any waste feed. So we're getting very accurate uh, food conversion ratio. I mean, the cook chose to come to us because of the control situation in our trial unit. The feedback we're getting from the customer is, is very encouraging. The trials so far, depending on which diet the fish are on, have shown great uniformity of results. So Cook Aquaculture, as with all feed manufacturers, are emphasising sustainability of raw materials and performance of their fish feeds. And what effect it has on salmon growth, salmon flesh, salmon taste. And that, that can be looking at feed, it can also be looking at strains of fish and which fish are best suited to the Scottish conditions. The basic core principle of the unit is aimed at trials that help the sustainability of the industry things that improve the farming process, help with welfare, help with feed and nutrition. The efficient use of feed as a resource is, is absolutely vital. We also are aware and are responding to uh, market demand for uh, studies around health and welfare and automation in and around farming systems. So we're very pleased that MAKE is playing a role in helping to ensure growth and sustainability of the sector on behalf of the whole of the UK. So we're interested in hearing from parties who might be interested in undertaking studies here at MAKE. You can contact Agri Epicentre on our email address. It's very exciting, lots of more trials in the pipeline.